So hello students, I'm Amrish. I'm working in the area of uh, osteoarthritis, which is a disease that affects your joint, particular your knee joint, hip and hand joint. So first of all, I would like to thank Somajit and his team for initiating such a fantastic platform of Avilasha, which is helping me to interact with you all today. First of all, I would like to tell you and request you that please stay safe, stay preventive and, you know, stay indoor in this unpredictable and very unfortunate situation of COVID-19. Study well, discuss, with your doubts, uh, discuss your doubts with your teachers. We are always and always available for you. Fine. So... I have divided this interaction into you know few subsets like first I would like to talk about what I do then I'll talk about how I reached here and sec like third I'll talk about what challenges I have faced during my research career and how you should you know decide whether you have, will go for the research or is there any other opportunities uh, available at present or not so all these things i'll talk about fine so i work on a disease for which you know literature suggests there are two biological events which are involved into the particular disease is first endocrinal ossification and the second is the inflammation which is a immunological responses fine so what happens during osteoarthritis? During the osteoarthritis, your joint has a tissue which is known as articular cartilage. And this articular cartilage gets affected. Either there starts a formation of small, you know, bone spurs, which is known as bone spicules, via a process known as endocondyl ossification, or second, there is an inflammation in your synovial joint, synovial membrane. Synovial membrane is the membrane which covers your joint, synovial joints. Okay, so this synovial membrane they have a macrophage macrophages lining, which is known as synovial macrophages. And the synovial macrophages, when they get triggered, they converted their nature. They get polarized from an anti-inflammatory nature to a pro-inflammatory nature. It means they are against the anti-inflammation they are secreting the cytokine which are acting as an anti-inflammation now what happens they get converted into the pro-inflammatory responses and they start secreting a cytokine which is known as il1 beta tnf alpha you might have heard about these names or you may have you may in future be heard about in your immunology subjects so what they do they start degrading a particular tissue which is known as articular cartilage so I'm studying in these two events, that is formation of the bone spicules at the joint side and second, the inflammation due to activation of the synovial macrophages during the osteoarthritis and during the, during the onset and progression of osteoarthritis. So like I raised the question, which event is coming first, whether the spicules are getting formed first and then it is leading to the inflammation or the inflammation is leading to the formation of spicules. Fine. So this is all about my work. So let's talk about how I reached here, where I did my research and everything. So I'm very happy to tell you that I'm the part of the same department, Department of uh, Geology, Banaras Hindu University, Varansi, where you are at present now. So in, in 2010, I joined Professor Chandana Haldar, who is a fantastic mentor, under whom I started working in the area of melatonin physiology and I investigated how melatonin which is a hormone is regulating the stress responses in a particular individual under the stress condition as well as the extreme environmental condition and working in the area of melatonin physiology as the melatonin is an anti-inflammatory molecule too, I develop an interest to work in the area of inflammatory disorders, especially the osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, etc. So I approached Professor Amitabh Bandopadhyay at IIT Kanpur. And his lab is focusing on osteoarthritis from a developmental perspective. That is, 
like he, he his lab was working on uh, the disease and suggesting a particular working hypothesis that osteoarthritis is nothing but it's a topic activation of bmp signaling which is a key molecule during the endocondral ossification in case of adult or in case of old age condition fine so i with him with uh, him i proposed a you know proposal to crp new delhi and fortunately we started i started working under him after working two and a half year i raised a new question of the two events i mentioned earlier in my talk is inflammation or the endocrine ossification which is coming first so i proposed a new proposal to welcome trust india alliance as a early career fellow and there were you know very tough competition after three tier of competition finally by god grace i cleared that and my lab started working on it so i'll tell you one thing this story looks very smoother when somebody says ki this is my journey i started from here i ended here everything looks smoother everything looks you know cool oh okay this is the way we can achieve but the problem comes in between you know a lot of problems and the problem is not like any physical problem you'll face you'll face mental problems like you'll be frustrated when your experiment will not work you'll be demoralized you will be like tense like my things are not going smooth what should i do so i'll tell you one thing the key formula when you get frustrated when you get demoralized when you get very tense talk to your mentor talk to your teacher talk to your parents talk to your friends and get you know rid of that that is most important so like you know problem and tension comes in each and every step when you were in high school your the, your main problem was passing high school when you were intermediate excuse me your main problem was passing intermediate you were very tense for a particular subjects and all but finally you did it and you're here now fine in the same way when you start your research journey your question should be very clear why and how and when and where fine so you should have a thorough knowledge of particular subject so that and then only you can raise a good question so for that you have to read a lot so you should develop a habit of reading habit of writing okay and habit of you know raising a new question your question should not be very vague it should be very specific so for that you have to study when you study a lot you can read you can read the papers one time you cannot understand a research paper okay no problem read again try to discuss with your friends try to discuss with your colleagues you know discussion is very important as much as you will discuss that much you know new idea will generate new idea will come in your mind okay and new idea you just write it down write it down on a paper and keep it with you discuss whomever you can discuss this but discuss okay there should be a scientific discussion a healthy discussion okay discussing with many people will help you a lot fine so coming what was the next one like what challenges i faced uh, i'll tell you uh, you know my story i'm from a very poor background family my father was a you know supervisor in a private firm he was not getting getting sufficient money so but somehow he was managing and uh, i have one you know elder brother one elder sister so we were three and he he managed really well but the problem is my mother was not having any formal education my father was not very educated but one thing he supported me a lot he said you keep going i can support you through any some way i'll manage but i cannot suggest you what to do where to go whom to ask that you have to find out and i did i approached many people i approached my seniors i approached my friends i approached you know my friends parents he kindly suggests me what should i do how should i do where should i go 
And believe me, if you approach the people, they'll help you. One on another way, they'll help you and they'll support you and be motivated. Okay? And here, uh, and uh, you know, after a lot of hard work, I'm here. I'm sitting in front of you. So, you know, never get frustrated. Never get demoralized. Keep working. Whatever you do, you know, do a justice to that particular work. Try to give your 100%. And when you are worried, talk to your parents. Your parents are your, your, are your energy sources. Okay? And respect them a lot. Fine. So with this, at the last, what I'll suggest you, stay safe, study well. If anything is required, anytime you contact us, we teachers are there for you. We'll help you in one or another way. We'll try to give you as much as information we can give. We'll definitely help you out. Okay. First, the prime important thing in this situation is stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.